as, uh, I understand that today's theme is inspiration. Uh, having junketed about now and having been asked the question, where do you get your inspiration? A thousand times, I have learned that it is a terrible question. Uh, it, it inspires uh, large quantities of bloviation. Um, and it tires one oneself in trying to answer it. Uh, because I was thinking about this yesterday. There is something that, that, that is, is absolutely true. And that is that, that in a sense, my deepest inspiration is that in writing, in manipulating language with a pen in hand, in a quiet room, sitting down, doing that. Oh, I'm usually lying down, come on. Uh, <laughs> lying down, doing that. Uh, p places me in, in a kind of contact with myself that I absolutely cannot achieve in any other way. Um, uh, and it isn't just any manipulation of language. It seems to have to involve um, metaphor and, and rhyme or rhyming um, qualities. Uh, and that when, when I'm trying to move those things around, I sometimes am able to enter what, what seems to me some kind of larger mind than my own. And I am capable of, of um, being at a bigger party than I ordinarily am at. Um, so that is my, my deepest inspiration is that I want to go back there. And I will go back there using any excuse, any, any immediate grievance or amusement or, or impatience or, or affection or, or any, any subject matter uh, immediately available to me. Uh, but where the question of inspiration gets to me really interesting is um, in thinking about individual poems. It's always really interesting where did any one of them come from. Um, and I, I thought I'd... I, I was going to start one way, now I'm going to start another. Uh, I'm going to start with a poem called Ledge. Uh, and this is going to be for Joyce Jenkins today. Uh, and I'll, I think I'll read it first and then tell you why, wh what kind of place it came from. Ledge. Birds that love high trees and winds and riding flailing branches hate ledges as gripless and narrow so that a tail is not just no advantage but ridiculous mashed vertical against the wall. You will have seen the way a bird who falls on skimpy places lifts into the air again in seconds. A gift denied the rest of us when our portion isn't generous. Um, first of all, writing it gave me the opportunity to mess around with the metaphor of the bird and, and all the fun of the language. But I felt at that time caught on a ledge that I was, I think that would be the inspiration for the poem actually. They're often very literal, that I felt that I was, that I was absolutely stuck on a ledge. And uh, so it was nice to think about the birds that, that aren't, that can leave. Um, so of course, m much literature is the result of complaints and, <laughs> self-pity, 